so hello everyone so welcome to this session so in the last session we have uh, seen few of the very important derivations okay of all the time domain specifications so in this session we are going to discuss uh, two problems related to this time domain specifications only okay okay so the first question is for the system shown obtain the closed loop transfer function damping ratio natural frequency and the expression for output response that is uh, c of t if subjected to unit step input okay they have given unit step input and here is one simple uh, block diagram okay with one feedback path that is unity feedback okay and one gain path okay and uh, we need to be first in this case we need to be finding the equation that is the transfer function okay so first let's uh, find the transfer function that is c of s by r of s okay that is equal to in general we have the formula g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s right so now let's find that that is c of s by r of s is equal to in place of g of s we have 20 divided by s plus 1 into s plus 4 okay so now let's solve this here that is s square plus s plus uh, 4s plus 4 okay that is s square plus s plus 4s is 5s so this is s square plus 5s plus 4 okay so now let's directly write it as s plus 1 into s plus 4 as s square plus 5s plus 4 okay divided by 1 plus g of s that is again 20 divided by s square plus 5s plus 4 into h of s since it is a unity feedback so h of s is equal to 1 so now that is c of s by r of s is equal to 20 divided by s square plus 5s plus 4 divided by so take the lcm that is s square plus 5s plus 4 plus 20 divided by again s square plus 5s plus 4 so we can cancel these two out so our final answer for c of s by r of s we are getting it as 20 divided by s square plus 5s plus 24 okay so this is our transfer function so now compare this uh, transfer function what you have got with the general form of the second order the control system that is omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square okay so now comparing with this equation we need to be writing the uh, the values of uh, omega n and zeta okay that is we consider the denominator part okay that is the characteristic equation part i've told you right already so here in the place of omega n square we have 24 so write it write that first that is omega n square is equal to 24 okay so if we got get omega n square is equal to 24 therefore omega n is equal to square root of 24 so that is omega n is equal to 4.898 okay if we put it this value in the calculator that is 4.898 radians per second okay so this is our value for omega n in the question they have asked to find the natural frequency right yeah natural frequency they have asked it so we have got the value of natural frequency like this okay first you need to obtain the transfer function then compare it with the general form and write the value of omega n and also we can see that in place of 2 zeta omega n we have 5 right the coefficient of s is 2 zeta omega n and here it is 5 so we can write that 2 zeta omega n is equal to 5 okay since we want the value of zeta so zeta is equal to phi divided by 2 times of omega n zeta is equal to phi divided by 2 into omega n just now we have got it that is 4.898 okay so after we solve this we would be getting the value of zeta as 0.51 okay if you solve this in the calculator this is the answer which we are getting that is 0.51 so here we got the value of damping ratio zeta and omega n but they have asked few more terms uh, but now they have asked to find out the output response that is c of t so c of t is pending to find out right so now let's find that first let's write the expression of c of t so this is the expression of c of t here this is the expression of c of t but here if we see in the c of t uh, in order to find c of t we need some of the terms that is zeta omega n and all we have but we don't have the value of theta as well as omega d right so now first for that for this thing in order to find c of t we need to find the values of omega d and theta okay so now let's find that 
first thing is omega d the formula for omega d is omega n into square root of 1 minus zeta square right so um, omega d is equal to omega n we have obtained it as 4.898 into square root of 1 minus 0.51 square so if we uh, solve this in the calculator we will be getting the final answer as 4.212 okay you can cross check it later so this is our uh, answer of uh, omega d that is the damping frequency is equal to 4.212 if we solve this similarly find for theta the formula for theta is tan inverse of square root of 1 minus zeta square by zeta right so that is theta is equal to tan inverse of square root of 1 minus 0.51 square divided by 0.51 okay so that is tan inverse of 1 minus 0.51 square it's square root the answer which we are getting is 0.86 okay divided by 0.51 you can check it in the calculator later so our answer which we are getting is uh, after simplifying this we are getting the answer as 1.035 radians okay not degree radians so i have told you already we, in order to find the value of theta in the calculator after typing this term uh, before typing this term we need to set the calculator in radian mode okay after setting the calculator in radian mode we will be getting the answer as 1.035 radians okay yeah so now we have the values of omega d and theta so now we can directly find the value of c of t that is 1 minus e to the power minus zeta into omega n okay t you should keep it as it is zeta into omega n that is zeta into omega n so the value of zeta is 0 0.51 into omega n is 4.898 so if we do the multiplication here we would be getting the answer as 2.49 okay yeah you can check it in the calculator if you want so now zeta into omega n that is minus 2.49 t divided by square root of 1 minus zeta square so if here if you see that while calculating theta we have a uh, solve for square root of 1 minus zeta square right so here for this if you put this value in the calculator square root of 1 minus 0.51 square we would be getting the answer as 0.86 so same thing here we have the same term right square root of 1 minus zeta square so directly write it as 0.86 okay into sine of omega d okay omega d what we have got 4.212 t plus theta what we have got 1.035 okay so therefore c of t is equal to 1 minus so we have 0 0.86 so that is 1 divided by 0 0.86 so if we solve that also we will be getting 1.162 1 by 0 0.86 is 1.162 e to the power minus so round off this and write it as 2.5 t we into sine of 4.212 t plus 1.035 okay so this is your expression for output response which we are getting okay that is 1 minus 1.162 into e to the power minus 2.5 t into sine of 4.212 t divided uh, plus uh, 1.035 okay so in this way you need to solve this problem so observe this problem very carefully this might be coming in your exams so now we would be solving one more simple problem so this is the next question here analyze the feedback control system with forward path gain which is given as 12 divided by s square plus 4s plus 16 and feedback gain h of s is equal to k into s okay we need to determine the value of k and all the time domain specifications okay so what and all they have asked to ask uh, to find first we need to find the value of k and all the time domain specifications so time domain specifications means all of them that is uh, a delay time rise time peak time peak overshoot and settling time we have five time domain specifications all of them we need to find given that they have given the value of damping ratio zeta they have given already that is 0.8 okay so the first thing what we need to write is the given data okay in order to avoid confusion first uh, write this only i am not writing it again the zeta they have given it as 0.8 after that uh, try to find the transfer function that is c of s by r of s okay since uh, in the given data they have given the value of g of s as well as h of s so that's why so the formula is d of s divided by 1 plus d of s into h of s right so our c of s by r of s is equal to 
12 divided by a square plus 4s plus 16 divided by 1 plus g of s in that is 12 divided by a square plus 4s plus 16 into h of s that is ks right so our c of s by r of s we are getting it as 12 divided by a square plus 4s plus 16 divided by take the lcm that is a uh, square plus 4s plus 16 plus 12 into k into s so 12 ks divided by again a square plus 4s plus 16 so we can cancel these two out so our remaining answer is c of s by r of s is equal to 12 divided by s square and we have 4s as well as 12 ks so in this s is common so we can write it as 12k plus 4 into s okay so here in these two terms uh, s is common so i have taken 12k plus 4 together plus the constant term that is 16 so this is our transfer function c of s by r of s okay so now again the same thing compare this with the general form that is omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square okay and consider the denominator part as I've told you. So in this case here the value of omega n square is equal to 16. Write that omega n square is equal to 16. So omega n is equal to square root of 16. So therefore omega n is equal to square root of 16 is 4. So 4 radian per second. S similarly in place of 2 zeta omega n we have 12 k plus 4. So 2 zeta omega n is equal to 12 k plus 4 okay so 2 into zeta they have already given in the question that is 0 0.8 into omega n we have just now found it as 4 is equal to 12k plus 4 so that's why so if we multiply these three terms you will be getting it as 6.4 is equal to 12k plus 4 if we multiply 2 into 0 0.8 into 4 we will be getting it as 6.4 so 12k is equal to 6.4 minus 4 so 12k is equal to 6.4 minus 4 is 2.4 so therefore the value of k is equal to 2.4 divided by 12 if we solve this the value of k we here which we are getting it is 0.2 okay so in this way we need to be finding the value of k here so hope you understood this step so now after this they have also told us to find all the time domain specifications right so one by one we need to find we, we need to be finding all the time domain specification that is uh, tr td uh, tp mp and ts okay so now let's find out so nothing much to do direct the formula uh, writing the formula and direct, direct substitution so uh, let's solve it now so first let's find the value of td the formula for td is 1 plus 0.7 zeta divided by omega n so they substitute the values of zeta and omega n that is 1 plus 0.7 into the value of zeta is 0.8 divided by omega n is 4 so if we solve this the answer which we are getting is 0 0.39 seconds okay so this is the value of td so the same thing the, the next uh, time domain specification is let's consider ice time that is tr so the formula for tr is pi minus theta by omega d right but uh, for uh, tr we need the value of theta as well as omega d so one by one we need to be finding both of them so first let's find theta that is tan inverse of square root of 1 minus zeta square divided by zeta so that is theta is equal to tan inverse of square root of 1 minus zeta value is 0.8 square divided by 0.8 so our value of theta if we solve this in a radian mode we need to be keeping it the answer which we are getting is 0.59 radians okay so similarly let's find the value of omega d uh, the uh, omega d is omega formula is omega n into square root of 1 minus zeta square so omega d is equal to omega n we have got it as 4 square root of 1 minus 0.8 square so omega d is equal to if you solve this the answer which we are getting is 2.4 radian per second okay you can check it later in the calculator you can solve it okay since there is no time i am not doing it step by step i am not showing the calculation as well the answer which we are getting is 2.4 radian per second okay so now we have got the values of theta and omega d so substitute in the formula that is pi the value of pi in general form, form uh, general value is 3.14 minus the value of theta is in radians is 0.59 
divided by 2.4 so the value of tr after solving this we will be getting it as 1.0625 seconds okay so this is the answer for tr okay so the same way next thing is tp that is peak time the formula is pi by omega d the omega d is given pi the value is 3.14 your omega d is 2.4 so after solving this the answer we are getting is 1.308 seconds okay so this is the value of tp so the same thing the next thing is peak overshoot that is mp the formula is e to the power minus pi zeta divided by square root of 1 minus zeta square so that is mp is equal to e to the power minus 3.14 into 0 0.8 divided by square root of 1 minus 0.8 square if you put this term in the calculator the answer which we are getting here is 0 0.015 okay or if you want to convert it into percentage just multiply by 100 so it is 1.5 percentage okay so this is a peak overshoot that is it is a 1.5 percent so the next uh, time domain specification is the last is ts that is settling time the formula is 4 divided by zeta omega n in general if uh, the tolerance band is of plus or minus 2 percent 4 divided by zeta is uh, 0 0.8 into the omega n we have found it as 4 so 4 and 4 get cancelled so 1 divided by 0 0.8 so our ts is equal to 1.25 seconds okay so in this way we have found all the values of td tr tp mp and ts okay so go through this problem so that's all for this session so please like share subscribe and refer our playlists to, uh, in order to be thorough about the model question paper solutions you can go through it and try to solve it it would be appearing in the right of your screen now so that's all thank you